In this episode, we make a pit stop at Paso Fino Yoga Farm in San Jose before heading back to the Nicoya Peninsula. Located just outside of Santa Ana, this beautiful equestrian farm provides a sense of calm and tranquility from the bustling city below. With services such as yoga, massage, horseback riding, catered meals, and local hiking trails, Paso Fino provides everything the would-be traveler could ever need. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe and hit that like button. Now, let's get into the adventure. been a long trip, but this is quite beautiful, so we're at the Afama. Hola! We are inside. Hola! Oh, Afama. Oh my gosh, this is your place for me. Me and Keja are gonna take a solo trip for an hour to go through the countryside and visit some horses. And uh, Kuya and I are gonna go check out a Catarata, which is nearby, and take some drone shots. So we're all going on our own little aventura. Okay. Strong hands, Keja. What do you do when you need to stop? Just pull back. Se llama este caballo? Cucaracha. See? Hey guys, cucaracha. And you'll see the head start to move and you just keep moving it in the direction yeah, you want to go. <laughs> she likes it better than hiking. Lazy butt. Almost done with our trip. See? Yeah. And es todo.
since we arrived, we have just not had an opportunity to stop for a moment. I mean, this is literally less than 48 hours. And this is a transitional uh, trip for us just here, just out like, in, a, in almost in Alajuela, but just outside of San Jose. And uh, we just wanted to get here, be able to make this transition before we head back south to the peninsula and uh, stay for a couple months. So, uh, but this place is incredible. Um, camera was dead upon arrival and we just started today and just kept going, going, going. And still have a lot to do. Um, but we just got done with the masaje. So all is tranquilo. Just listen to the birds and the bees for a moment. Well, it's actually more like the cicadas and the sloths out here in Costa Rica, but everything is good. So this is an amazing Airbnb destination that is on an incredibly old property. Uh, that is an actual working equestrian property. They used to have cattle here. Um, there's a horse right now that could go in labor at any moment. So tonight, maybe the night if we're lucky. But um, this is also has a yoga studio. So they provide yoga classes. The host is incredible. Her family has owned this place for like 30 years. Uh, it transported me back home because the succulent setup reminded me a lot of home. Hola. Hola, chicas. And I forgot to mention the most important thing is that they are dog friendly here. Uh, so if you're a dog owner, you know your dog. You know if your dog is social. You know if it's a good idea to let him off leash and roam. And uh, we are the free range squad. So it's incredibly important to us that our furry friends are able to take the trip with us. And Gigi and Coco are having an incredible time living the life. Coco almost got trampled by a caballo, but she learned her lesson. And now she will not be going anywhere near the horses. I think that's the most important thing, right? It's kind of like your kids. They got to learn themselves and uh, kind of have that fear just struck in them before they can make that change. Bienvenidos, this is the barn. Our accommodations for this short, barely 48 hour trip. Mommy is feeling the groove after her <laughs> massage. <laughs> How am I feeling? I'm feeling good. Tranquilo? Si. Tranquilo. Of the barns. This is the living room entryway, but it goes all the way back to the kitchen. So we'll start here and then go to the bedrooms on our way out. As you can see, the thing that really pleased me about this particular Airbnb was the fact that they had some of the basic elements here. Most of the Airbnbs we've been at definitely have your basic pots, pans, plates, you know, utensils, etc. Uh, but this one actually has some of those condiments that you sometimes forget. Because I love to cook, I travel with a lot of those items and having some oil, some sugar, tea, salt, those kinds of things available makes a big difference. Do have window coverings. Uh, we did not have any experience with bugs or insects here, no mosquitoes, and so that was all good. So here's bedroom number one. So this is one of the kids' rooms, as you can see. I'm trying to keep it as real as possible. I moved some stuff around the living room, but these kids got to see. They don't see it for themselves. They're not gonna realize how messy it is. I don't even know how that happens. How does that actually happen? Like, it doesn't even look like a separate blankets anymore. I don't know. So this has, bedroom number one does have a closable door, but it is connected to this side room, which was probably repurposed, or it could have been part of the kitchen previously. But like I said, this house, I don't know actually what year this was built, but it's old. <laughs> And so is the infrastructure. We did have a problem with the water last night, but only in the shower. And it was fixed within like 15 minutes, which was amazing. Very responsive host, all good. So going from the two ancillary bedrooms, or really one bedroom without a door, uh, you would come over here and we got plenty of storage space. As you can see, this is definitely gear central. Really love that feature. 
Um, bathroom, it's pretty simple. You know, the little hand washing sink is actually out here, which is very nice because, you know, multiple people can get stuff done at once and you don't have to brush your teeth after somebody drops a deuce, uh, which is also reality. <laughs> Is it shower? It's nice. Another window. Warm shower problem for us. Uh, for some reason, we haven't been getting the hot water, and it's a good thing we love camping and have plenty of experience camping because hot water was uh, really scarce uh, at the accommodations we've stayed at so far. But we're heading back to the front, and we'll check out the master. Um, there is another back door here, which is awesome. Both doors, the front door and the back door have access to these barn doors, which is a really cool feature. I like that because it's very secure, but then you have a nice breeze coming through and you're looking at the Vivero and getting your little nursery. And to the master, the master was nice. The bed was amazing. Probably one of the more comfortable beds we've slept in so far. I slept really good. And then also, uh, this it, all these windows are secure, so there's actually no open windows here unless you uh, open it up there. So there's no open air in this room and the bed was quite comfortable. Hi, Gingerbread. Hola. There you have it there, ladies and gentlemen, the barns. Uh, I'm not going to do a full tour of the entire facility, but the kids are going to be coming back with that and we're going to incorporate that into the video. But for now, yeah. Mom wants to show off the barn door from the other side. Mm -hmm. Oh, and there's a rope there, huh? Yeah. <laughs> okay, adios. Adios. Alright, we just landed here at the Multi Plaza in Escazú and we are, yeah, then we, I think this is like the well-to-do neighborhood. I think you guys got your car in four-wheel drive. Over here, we're trying to hit Roca Bruja, which is a surf shop. Uh, we need to find some fins and uh, gear up. Wow, this is even a nicer mall than we see in the States. This is, they are not playing right here. Hank's not worried about a shop. Look, they got a North Face in here. We're looking for, there's a Roca Bruja, which is a surf shop. <laughs> Dang, look at these lost the cables. Okay, so we are gearing up for school and uh, we've been kind of needing some books very badly. So we ended up getting a couple classics. Let's see what you guys got. Let me see. Call them out. What are they called? Uh, uh, we've got the Catcher in the Rye and Huckleberry Finn. Alright, some classics. Expand your minds. All right, great success. We were able to go into the mall, find exactly what we were looking for, with the exception of Kingston. We're still looking for some object. We're not quite sure what it is, but I think it may be a knife or something sharp. Not a video game anymore. I'm pretty sure we can cancel out the video games. Um, but otherwise, we found fins, aletas. That was the most important things that we needed. Yeah, I think that's the right word. Um, I think that goes for a lot of different things, but that was the most important thing. We knew that we were gonna hit up the mall. Oh! Kasia found the precious baby octopus. What's her name? There's two. Oh! Mad. We got some new books, new literature to read, 
And what else, mommy? Did you? Oh, and we got some snacks, mommy. Did you get anything? Oh, else? I got a sports bra. Sports bra. And running shorts. And run oh, and running shorts. Or yoga pants, yoga no, bra. No, I didn't no, but can it still double? Doesn't it like? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, shorts, yeah, yoga. Yeah. I don't know. I don't no, do no, yoga. No, 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 no. It doesn't seem like they do. Alright, adios, Paso Vino. We are on the move again. Uh, today is Sunday, the 31st of March. And we get ready to head out to Santa Teresa on the Nicoya Peninsula. Um, but this has been the highlight of the kids' trip here at Paso Vino. Did you get a flip? Let's go get that slow-mo flip. Oh, okay. Come on, let's try it. Okay, we'll try it. the highlight. We're all packed up. It's time to, got one last time to feed the horses and then we're out. Here you put some deodorant on. We're gonna be stank up in the car after all this jumping. Will you laugh so you have to give me a massage? A massage? It feels good. You just sit there and then you go, huh, huh, huh. Feeding the horses one last time. Uh, no. Wait, what do you mean? I thought none of, none of them are changed. She's none young. Changed? She's a... Oh, I thought you meant changed. See how fast mommy feeds them? It's like... Can I get the shot? Why do you feed them like this? Because it's far away. <laughs> Sticking his tongue out. Mommy, he's sticking his tongue out at us again. <laughs> Here she comes. Wow, look how round she is. There she is. Thanks again for watching this episode of the Free Range Squad. Now our time at Paso Fino was just what we needed before we head back to the Nicoya Peninsula. Our super host Chaka was incredible and not only provided a great overview of what we can do in the area, but gave us some history about the family farm which her father had built decades ago. Not only does this site provide on-site tours, catering, yoga, as well as horseback riding, they also have a pool that is naturally fed by a spring. Paso Fino is also centrally located to many of the malls that you can find in Alajuela or Escazú or those local areas right around San Jose. So it made for the perfect destination on our adventure. So for all of you out there looking for the perfect place to stay that provides the perfect blend of tranquility and peace, as well as close access to all the other amenities San Jose has to provide, I definitely recommend checking out Chaca and Paso Fino Yoga Farm. But until our next adventure, Pura Vida!